Hello everyone. Welcome you all in today's Bible class. In today's class, I will start a new chapter of our economics book. That is chapter two, and chapter name is sectors of Indian economy. So let's start this video with introduction about sector. So people are engaged in many economic activities like manufacturing goods, services, etc. So the best way to understand the economy is by grouping these activities into one as an important uh, criterion. So these groups or components are called sectors. So classifying the economy into various sectors allows uh, allow us to understand the economy in depth. Thus, a sector is a major component of the economy in which businesses or markets share common products or services. So next, I will uh, explain you classification of sector based on activity. So, uh, when we classify a sector, we predo uh, predominantly say there are three sectors. So the primary, secondary and territory sector. So however and is this session we were discussing two more important sectors of recent those are quaternary sector and quinary sector. So let's start with primary sector. So uh, here primary sector. So As the name suggests, it is uh, related to primary activities. So, everything things that related relates directly to nature, uh, directly to nature uh, would come under primary sectors. For example, dairy, mining, dairy mining, fishing, forestry. All these are directly dependent, uh, depend on the natural resource, okay, um, and therefore they are classified under primary sector. The next is secondary sector. So, uh, under secondary sec sector, what we are uh, doing is we are changing, we are changing um, the form of the natural products that we have so it could be either in the industries or in the factories okay so this could be either home based industry uh, this could be either home based industry or big industrial setups uh, so it could be workshops small factory big factory or home based artisan workshop and we say we can say these are classified under industrial sector we also call secondary sector as industrial uh, sector for example uh, from the earth from the earth uh, we get bricks and um, and uh, transform these bricks or uh, use these bricks to uh, make the building and therefore what we are trying to explain uh, this uh, and trying to explain here uh, is from the natural resources okay so that we are getting uh, we are changing its uh, it to some other form uh, to use it or utilize it. In this module, you will learn about the classification of economic activities into different sectors. Here is an item of daily use that you often find on your breakfast table. A simple loaf of bread reaches you as a result of several different activities. 
The story of a loaf of bread begins with a farmer growing wheat in his field. The wheat produced by the farmer is ground and processed into flour at a flour mill. The flour is baked into bread in a bread factory. The bread is transported to shops in different parts of a city and reaches your neighborhood shop from where you can buy it. All these activities that involve the production and distribution of products and services are examples of economic activities. Economic activities are classified into three different groups called the primary sector, the secondary sector and the tertiary sector. Did you know the three-sector hypothesis that divides the economic activities into primary, secondary and tertiary sectors was developed by Colin Clark, a British economist, and Jean Forasti, a French economist. Activities like agriculture are called primary sector activities. Besides agriculture, primary sector activities include animal husbandry like dairy farming and poultry farms, fishing, mining, and forestry. All primary sector activities use natural resources to produce natural products. Since the largest number of natural products comes from agriculture, the primary sector is also called the agriculture and related sector. Activities that use natural products or other raw material for industrial manufacturing of goods are called secondary sector activities. The secondary sector includes all kinds of manufacturing activities from food processing to manufacturing of automobiles, garments and electronics.